Welcome back. Today we're going to do lemon chicken, which is pretty fast and pretty easy. So let's get started. We're going to uh, make the glaze first. And what we'll do here is we'll put in some fresh ginger and garlic into some chicken broth. You can use other broth, but since this is chicken, we're going to do that. And what I've done is I've cut a little coin off on the ginger, and all I'm going to do is hit that, and you'll see it just smashes it. And I've done some smashing already, and what we'll do is we will just cut that up. You'll probably notice that I did not peel my fresh ginger. You don't need to. And we'll just put that right into some broth, some chicken broth that I have here. And we'll give that a little stir. That'll give some nice flavor. And to that, we'll add some fresh garlic. We'll do the same thing. I'm putting in three cloves. You don't want as much garlic. You can use less if you want. If you really like garlic, put in more. I like doing it this way because I get pieces of garlic, but because I've smashed it, I also get a lot of the flavor out of the garlic as well. Same with the uh, ginger. So, let's continue on. This is simmering. I'm going to make a little roux here. And I'm going to use the juice of one lemon. Squeeze that right in there. And I've got a little bit of water in there. You could use broth just to dissolve or mix the uh, cornstarch that I'll be using. The other thing I should tell you <coughs> is that to get a little extra flavor. What I'm doing is I'm using a little bit of lemon zest that I get from the peel. If you're going to use zest, make sure you only use the colored part, as the white part is bitter. There we go. And we'll in our tablespoon of cornstarch. Mix that right in. So let's put that right in. So you want to do that so you don't end up with lumps. And we'll just whisk that up. Now remember what I've done is I put in ahead of time, I had some, some broth, some chicken broth in there already heated up so that we won't, it won't take quite as long for that to thicken. And while that's heating up, we'll put in some sweetener. Now we're going to use honey. You could use brown sugar if you would like. Mix that right in. Here in Maine, we could use maple syrup. It would be really good. And you'll notice that that's thickened up very quickly. That's a tablespoon to about a half a cup of broth in total. So 
So I'm just going to turn that down to low. We'll let it keep simmering. But we're not going to get any lumps. And let's move over to the chicken over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to coat the chicken with a mixture of tamari, two tablespoons, or soy sauce, whichever you would like, a couple tablespoons, and a tablespoon of Chinese cooking wine. that in. So if you want, you could use a, a Ziploc bag to do this as well. You'd massage it. You want to make sure that your chicken is at room temperature. You don't want it to be cold. I'm going to put in a quarter cup of cornstarch. And we'll coat that. that just sit for a minute or so just to give that wine and the soy sauce a chance to work in so what we want to do next is we're going to what we call shallow fry the chicken so I've got about a half a cup of oil I'm just using regular um, vegetable or peanut oil and um, I want it to be hot enough so that when I put in a chopstick or a wooden spoon, see how that just kind of bubbles right up? So that's how we know that that oil is hot enough. If it doesn't do that, what's going to happen is that the, uh, the chicken won't fry up well. So let's put our, let's put our chicken in. Gonna sizzle right up. There we go. And I've cut these up into about one inch size pieces. This will take about two minutes. And we'll just when they turn that kind of golden brown. We'll just turn those over. And these are uh, boneless thighs. I like to use thighs because they have a lot more fat. And those of you who are familiar with my acronym for FAT, F-A-T. Stands for flavor and taste. So thighs have a lot of flavor and taste. The other thing that's nice about the thigh meat is that you can cook it well done and it won't dry out, which is not the case with chicken breasts. But you're free to use whatever cup you would like. Well, that's finishing up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just 
give this, I'm going to shut our glaze off. You can kind of see that's a nice glaze there. And our chicken is done. So what I'll do is I'm going to take this chicken out. from the wok, the chicken oil from the wok. So carefully, we'll just pour that right out. So a little oil in there, which is fine. We'll add our chicken back, still nice and hot. Put in our glaze. You'll see that that thickens right up. Now I've shut the heat off. And I'll put in my scallions. All right. So let's Serve this over some rice. some more tasty lemon chicken. So let's try this. Mmm. Very tangy. Very moist. Thanks for joining me. And we'll see you next time.